What if there is a car that does much more than take you from point A to point B? What if there is a car that engulfs you with the latest and greatest technology every time you drive down the road? What if there's a car that rides so smoothly it feels like you're driving on a magic carpet? Well, luckily there is a car that does all of these things and it's right behind me. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I present to you the 2019 Mercedes-Benz E450. Let's dive right in and take a closer look. The Mercedes E-Class starts at just about $54,000 for the E300, which rolls in a 2-liter turbocharged inline 4-cylinder. We have the upgraded E450 trim, which rolls in a 3-liter bi-turbo V6, which we'll talk more about later. That starts at just under $60,000. But what is a Mercedes-Benz without the thousands and thousands of dollars in extras and option packages? And this car is no exception. This vehicle has $13,000 in extras, bringing the price up to $73,000. We'll talk more about these extra prices in a little bit, but just so you know, this fully loaded example is pretty rare. On lots, you'll find mid-tier E450s hovering in the mid $60,000 range. If you want a fully loaded example, prepare to look really hard for one or order one from the factory. The E450's interior looks and feels incredibly premium, which is to be expected in a $70 plus thousand dollar Mercedes. For the most part, everything is made of a high quality leather, wood, and metal, which is beautifully integrated into the car. I really like how the excellent sounding Burmester sound system is engineered into the wood trim as well as the design of the center control panel which sort of reminds me of a waterfall. The seats are plush, comfortable, and perfect for long road trips or around town use. Front and center we have the standard 12.3 inch infotainment screen and optional 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster which we'll talk about later. For this generation of E-Class, Mercedes really brought it to a completely new level of luxury. It almost reminds me of a baby S-Class. The infotainment on the E450 is actually pretty extensive. Standard, we have a 12.3 inch display um, that is standard across the board on all E-Classes. It is very high resolution. Um, it controls basically every aspect of the car from the ambient lighting, which we will talk about in a little bit, to the driving modes, to the seat functions, to the navigation, to the Bluetooth, to Apple CarPlay, to Android Auto, basically the whole nine yards. Everything you can think of with this car, the, uh, the center screen controls it. It is not a touch screen, even though though it has such a high resolution and looks absolutely gorgeous, you have to control it via three ways. There is a trackpad on the steering wheel, there's a trackpad down here, which I wasn't a big fan of, and there is a traditional Mercedes-Benz scroll wheel. However, on this vehicle, we have optioned the $850 package, which rolls in a second 12.3 inch gauge cluster and basically makes it look like an S-Class. So standard, the E-Class comes with an analog gauge cluster with a helper screen in the middle. But you can option that up to the dual 12.3 inch display gauge cluster, which replaces is the traditional analog gauge cluster with another 12.3 inch display. The 12.3 uh, inch gauge cluster on the display just puts it on a different level of luxury, a completely different level. I think it's totally worth it and $850 is not that much money when you consider the uh, price of the car. This is also fully customizable via the first infotainment screen, the uh, main central screen. You can also control it via another trackpad on the steering wheel. Now you can't talk about the Mercedes-Benz E450 without mentioning the ambient lighting. Now, just just a quick disclaimer, this also comes on the E300, so it's not exclusive to the E450. So go in the infotainment system, click under vehicle, and then go under light settings, and then uh, there is a menu that says ambient lighting. You click on that, and you can change the light strips hidden in the trim to 64 different colors. So if you're feeling purple one day, change it to purple. If you're feeling green, change it to green. If you're feeling blue, change it to blue. You name it, there are literally, there's literally every color in the color spectrum, 64 different colors, and if you want multicolored, you can have that too because this is a Mercedes-Benz after all. So the base E300 comes with a 2 liter inline 4 cylinder turbo producing about 255 horsepower. But no, this is not the base model. This is the E450 which rolls in a 3 liter bi-turbo V6 producing 362 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. What's that good for? Well, a 5 second flat 0 to 60 time and that's pretty respectable for a car that weighs well over 4100 pounds. That is mated to a a 
9-speed automatic transmission and comes standard with 4-matic all-wheel drive. The sedans for the E450 come standard with 4-matic all-wheel drive, but the coupes do not. That's something you should bear in mind. Gas mileage is pretty good at 20 MPG city and 28 on the highway. Now let's go for a ride. Now we are finally behind the wheel of the 2019 Mercedes E450. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is the ride quality. It rides like a cloud or a magic carpet or a hovercraft, uh, any of those things. This, uh, this suspension is absolutely unreal. You literally feel like you're floating across the ground. Now this vehicle is equipped with the driver assistance package which rolls in some pretty freaking cool features. One of them I'm demonstrating right now. As you can see, I'm going 35 miles an hour. The car is currently driving itself. Uh, so it's steering itself. Uh, using the radar cruise control uh, and also three cameras up here that read the lane lines, they read speed limit signs. Um, the car is currently modulating its own speed, keeping itself within the lane lines, doing it's, it's taking, I'm not doing anything. I'm, I don't even have my foot on the gas or the brake. Right now I'm coming to a red light, the car in front of me is stopping, the, uh, this car is stopping and uh, look, boom. It just came to a complete stop. I did not do a thing. On top of these really cool self-driving features, the driver assistance package rolls in quite a few safety features that I think are imperative when driving this vehicle. Uh, lane keep assist. If it senses you are veering out of your lane, the car will veer you back into your lane. It'll steer you back into your lane. If it senses that you're gonna get into an accident, if a pedestrian walks out in front of you, it the car will stop itself. Now, this is not a substitute for uh, you to just neglect driving this vehicle, but um, just know that the safety features are there. So as you can see right now, back to the self-driving, um, the car came to a complete stop because the car in front of us stopped at a red light and uh, it took off by itself. The light turned back to green and this car is literally started driving by itself. So I have driven Tesla's Model S and Model 3 with Autopilot and I do think Autopilot is a slightly superior system uh, because it can make lane changes. This car cannot make automatic lane changes. Uh, another thing, this car cannot turn by itself so if you need to make like a right turn or a left turn, do not expect this car to make its own right or left turns. Uh, it will keep the car straight, that's pretty much it. So if you have a long straightaway and uh, want to um, just have the just relax a little bit and have the car take care of that for you then uh, that's the best way to experience the self-driving feature of course I had my hand on the steering wheel which you should too you should never just take your hands off the steering wheel keep it on there at all times because you can never fully trust a computer to drive the vehicle yet so this car is equipped with the automatic parking assist that is an optional package um, but basically what it does is searches for parking spots and then it can literally steer and back itself into one um, one problem I had with this car is that uh, it there there are hundreds of parking spaces in this parking lot and uh, the car is not picking them up for some reason I've had to circle around the parking lot and people are looking at me like bro just park please uh, but uh, I'm, I'm doing it for you guys doing it doing it for demonstration purposes um, so there it goes it found a spot and then uh, telling me to select vehicle space so I I guess I select it and then I want to park it in reverse so and it's telling me to engage the reverse gear and now the car is literally parking itself I'm not doing anything look see it's it's steering itself it's steering itself it's uh, it's 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 stopping it's stopping it's slowing down and now it's now this is kind of scary and it just backed itself into the spot. Wow, it did a perfect job. Did you guys see that? It says park assist finish. The car just parked itself. I just showed you guys on video. I did not touch the gas. I did not touch the brake. All I did was shift it into reverse when it told me to shift it into reverse. So when you are parking yourself, the surround view camera is a really, really nice feature. I think Mercedes-Benz does it the best in the entire business. It's such a high resolution. It does such a great job, especially when you need to see the parking, uh, the lines in a parking space, like in a parking lot. The surround view camera does absolutely wonders. It doesn't work as great at night but uh, it still works fairly well so right now I'm on an on-ramp and I will address the one thing I have not addressed yet the acceleration so I put it into sport plus mode the most aggressive mode and we're gonna unleash all 362 horsepower here we go did you 
you guys just see that? This car is seriously quick. In Sport Plus mode, I was blown away. And it, it accelerates so smoothly because of that 4MATIC all-wheel drive and that suspension. It's not a throw you, throw you back in your seat like the AMG um, E63, but uh, this car is seriously quick. So what's the verdict on the Mercedes-Benz E450? Well, this is basically a baby S-Class. So if you don't want to drop a hundred grand for an S-Class, or if you don't want a car that big, this should be your go-to option. While there are other great competitors out there, namely the Audi A6 and BMW 5 Series, here's one thing you should keep in mind. The E-Class has been constantly refined, fine-tuned, refreshed over the last few decades, which puts it at the pinnacle of the German luxury midsize segment. That's why even though $72,000 dollars is no small amount it's worth every penny considering what you're getting well guys that is going to do it for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to join the car vision la crew one of the coolest and quickest growing automotive communities here on the great platform of youtube come on it's free what are you waiting for go ahead and dish out that quick sub you will not regret it while you're at it go ahead and follow me on instagram at car vision la for news updates exclusive content and giveaway notifications i'll catch you all next week with a brand new video. Peace out.